<laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse, <laughs> and this is my insignificant other, Glenn. Hi. Or husband, as some people call them. Um, <laughs> Over 20 years now. Yes. 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 Bloody long time. So, it's Valentine's Day. Yay! Happy Valentine's Day! Uh, hopefully, this is dry in time for me to post on Sunday, but. You know, that's that's the way that it is. Um, so I thought I would drag Glenn in on the party trick. Don't fiddle with it. I'm just wondering if it's in the shot. Probably is. Not relevant. Okay. Uh, unless it's coming in your face and then come on. That should be fine. Face. Should be fine. Right. Might be a bonus actually. <laughs> <laughs> Can't really see your husband, but that's a good thing. <laughs> <clears throat> I need Doug to say that. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, so, um, you know, in the past I have done all these lovely love hearts and blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and it's all really irrelevant if... <coughs> Excuse me. Your husband dies of choking. Yeah. <laughs> um, because they're all still sitting in my shop, my, my, my studio. Except for one. I did actually give him one of them. Um, so what I thought I'd do is actually include him and actually like, you know, have some husband and wife special time and share that with you. And we might even use some lube. But, you know, anyway, if you haven't been following me, I use personal lube as the silicon to make the cells. But anyway, um, he's dodgier than me. So apologies in advance if we offend in any of our comments. Um, and also if we don't, because we should. Yes. Yes. Mm. We do our job well. Absolutely. Yep. So, anyway, acrylic pouring. Um, I found this gigantic heart in a secondhand store. It had a really ugly, paisley thing on it. And uh, so I peeled that off and I've put a coat of gesso on it. Uh, and... We've had a big conversation and we really should have actually um, videoed that conversation because we had some rather hilarious moments, or at least vaguely funny, that you would have find, found amusing. At least vaguely. At least yeah. vaguely. If not absolutely hilarious. <laughs> could have been. It could have been. You never know. Yeah, if we'd had the camera on, it might have been even funnier. Um... But Glenn's, Glenn prefers a little bit of white space in the pores. He's not a fan of complete coverage. That's a bit like cleavage, really. He doesn't like complete coverage. Um, no, no. <laughs> Show off what you got. Anyway, so we are starting off with some white space paint. This, if you've been following me, you know I get... The cheapest stuff from Bunnings, which is sort of like our um, hardware store, big big box hardware store here in New Zealand and Australia. And I mix it with Floetrol and water and um, a little bit of PVA glue. Always put a little bit of PVA glue in house paint if you're going to use it. It just allows it to be stretched a little bit more um, and this is not runny enough but it's doing the job it's okay we'll be fine it's all right even if the paint don't run well it's all right anyway. you seem to be having fun nice <laughs> all right so, you want to tell them what we're going to do again? We're going to put some paint into some pots and pour it. <laughs> I know, right? Like, revolutionary. <laughs> you could make a whole YouTube channel about this. <laughs> Probably have followers all over the world. <laughs> have something to do so you don't get bored around the house. <laughs> yeah, like that's ever going to happen. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Cool. So what 
we're going to put some... Let me see if I get my uh, acrylic pouring terminology right. We're going to put some paint into some containers, do a ring pour thingy, and kiss the cups together. Pretty close. And then tip it everywhere, go, oh my god, what have we done? <laughs> um, and probably end up swiping it, then put some silicon in it first so we can chuck a blowtorch on it, because why wouldn't you put a blowtorch on something when you could? <laughs> Use some lube and give it a blowjob. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. All right. So, let me translate. <laughs> no need for a have... vibrator this time, though. <laughs> Glenn's been on my channel a couple of times before. Once with a giant concrete vibrator. Um, and once with where he helped me do the giant bucket pour. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's cool. This is a golden syrup tin um, with the bottom and top removed. So it's just a tube. And we're just going to put that in the middle. Did you want to put some lube in the blue? Sure. Now, the blue, I'm painting my face already. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> The blue is uh, ultramarine blue. Oh, that doesn't turn, it does that. No, it pops. Ew. Ultramarine looks like that when it's wet, but it looks like that when it's dry. So it darkens quite considerably. So Glenn wants it to look like that when it's dry. So we added a bit of white. Whether that'll work or not, it's a totally different story. Yep, so how, many, how much lube? Uh, just one or two drips. One, two, whoop, that's Up, three. three. Alright. Always after more, aren't you, darling? Yep, overachiever. Oh, that goes back in. Look at this, I can't put things away with can't put things away. Can't put things away. What, a, what a miracle worker. You're learning. Only on camera. <laughs> toilet seat's down. 23 years. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, no, the toilet seat's down because that thing takes forever. Yeah, we just put in a new toilet. This is why we've been. Procrastinating. <laughs> Um, been renovating the toilet, completely gutted it, and uh, the new toilet has soft close lid seat. Yeah, we have those in New Zealand. Uh -huh. Yes, we are advanced. More we, advanced. we have soap too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I counted, it takes 12 seconds for the seat to go down. So for the first time in my life, I've asked the three men in my house to um, start putting the seat down when they've finished. I never, ever thought I would have to do that. But it's never been a problem in my life before. I don't have a point of view. Except I'm good at flicking paint everywhere. Ah, leave them the edge of the character. Okay. So, Glenn, did you want to put some Prussian blue into that for when you pour, or just leave it at plain white? It's blue. Blue. Um, no, let's put some Prussian in there too. I got somebody commented on my channel the other day. Um, just tip it in. Sure, just sort of swirl it round a bit on the top. Going for this left handed. So, so come, in, come under oh, the oh, camera. Oh, sorry. sorry. Forgot about this whole camera thing. I'm, I'm new at this on camera thing. It's not used to doing it on camera. No. <laughs> More of a privacy of their own home type thing, you know? Right, so that's Prussian blue into a slightly whited ultramarine. And then the other kiss it is going to be gold. Um. I know we're not even at our silver wedding anniversary yet, but that's okay. But first off, we're going to put some a big dollop of white into the tin and hopefully hold it down. Have finger for that. Have finger, we'll push. Thank you. Remove the skinny bits. I think it was a dead midgey, actually. Uh, all right. So we're going to put all of both of these in? Is that no, right? Not all of this, but... All of this? Yes, all of this, because this is already mixed, isn't it? So okay. And so some of that? The, right. the, the thing is, we try and keep the lip at the same level and bring them together, but to, so that they don't... Go, go, go. Kiss, kiss, kiss. Are we getting all of it? <laughs> it's not really a kiss paw, because it's... <laughs> it's now more of an open cup, dirty pour, but that's okay. It's all about. You want to take it off now, baby? Do we need like a dam around this thing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
not sure you're going to get much white space, but we can always create some later. Sure. So this is a tricky bit, right? This is. Now where am I putting this? It's a good question. Here. Here's something I prepared earlier. Nice. <laughs> If it wasn't just lying around in the mess of the studio. Hey. Check that out. That looks like it's got some candy canes happening in there and ladders. That's exactly how I had it planned. Nice work. Brilliant. <laughs> right, we're done. Let's go have a drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> then your eye appointment's really going to be in. <laughs> I've got to get my eyes checked. Yeah. Mm, not so and sure. See about if he that. still likes the look of me. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> There's a joke to go with that, but I can't remember what it was. Hmm. That's stopped. It's stopped moving, is it? Not far off. Right, no, you're ready. Going slowly. Ready to give it a kiss with the blowtorch? Sure. Where is it? There. Oh, you're going to use the little one. Oh, it's a big one. We do have a big one. I quite often get asked when doing the concrete, can you like, are we waiting for it to dry? It's like, well, can you get a blowtorch and speed it up? And unfortunately the answer is no. No, you can't, not for big areas. I know where it is. But we can with it. There it oh, is. There is. The top. Just so you can see he's got the big one. Oh yeah, I've got a big one, all right. Turn it on. Hey, baby. Do you want me to turn it on for you? How you doing? <laughs> so which one does it tune? On. Okay. Whoa! Okay, so we've got to... You need to be about that far away. Just turn it down a bit. Yeah, so it's different how to cook it. So you need to get... Still need to be about that far away. 257 mils, more or less. So come close enough so that you can see those air bubbles popping and that will be if, if it's close enough. Don't shake it because it surges. You don't want to create a skin on the top by cooking the paint. Um, still not, oh that smells good. Oh, dust on it. That's yeah, nice. I haven't Whoa. used the big one for a while. You don't need to, you've got me around. Oh, darling. Yeah. Right then. That's... So, what do you want to do? Less than overwhelming. Well, you haven't tipped it. Can't leave it with that thick. No, no, not at all, because it'll, it'll cake and stuff. So... So what don't you like about it? Oh look, there's a face, eyes, there's a cap on the forehead, nose, in the mouth, and tongue Tongue's out. sticking out. Yep. Um, I don't like it. The little bit, all of it needs to spread. All right. So we need to tip it. And we just tip the paint onto the table. Yes, it's got a plastic cover on. All right. All right. It's got a shot. So if you really don't like it, you can drag the chain through it. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah absolutely. Picking it up, tip it that way. Wop! Place is getting a bit wonky. Wop! Now if we get it back into the goods and go that way too. So this is not at all what I had in mind, but from what I've... Oh, your cells are looking good though. ...learned from Michelle. Oh, yeah, it's a bit better. It never looks like you think it's going to look, or even like you plan for it to look. It just does what it's going to do, and then you've got to make the best of it. Oh, look at that for a real painter's towel. Yeah, so crusty. And hairy. Hairy, yep. Just like you. Just like me. Right. Um, I can't really imagine how to drag a chain through that and make it an improvement. He made the joke before we started of, is there a chain we could drag through it? Because we've been dragging the chain on making this video. But we were supposed to do it like 10 days ago so that it was yes. dry and could be up as an inspiration in the lead up to Valentine's Day, but that's okay. 
Yes, because I'm sure most people who are watching who have a partner need inspiration. Wouldn't mind painting at least one thing with your partner. Even if it is body paint. Yes. Chocolate, baby. I'm oh, not a fan of chocolate. No, I know you're not. Even if we've got white chocolate. Uh, I won't say that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Um, now we've still got the big blobby thing going on. The big blobby thing. Yes, there's the still a lot thing. of paint. There's still yes, too much paint on this. Absolutely right. Fatu. Fatu, marry a word for far too. Fatu. Far too much paint. Far too much. There we go. We got that off the edge. Yes. Trying not to tip all the cells off. Oh, now I quite like that, except for the. Um, yeah, I quite like that now for some reason. Okay. Yeah, except awesome. to get rid of this bit here would so be. Just I don't want to tip the colour. I want the white there, but not the bulgy bit. You see this bit here? That could like, push it out the way without getting without colouring it. So maybe it just needs a little shimmy, 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 shimmy this way. That's not going to go, is it? No. You need to get... Lead it out there. I would, um... Where's that thingy thing you had before, the squishy, squashy, fishy slicey bit? What? Yeah, big spatula thing that you had before. Just it's going to smear. The only recommendation I could make is to add white in so that it doesn't leave a ridge. Yeah, and it's consistently and consistent. it's consistently white. Yeah, because it's actually. Oh, excuse me. You just don't you don't want to have the um the ridge there. The ridge. It's yeah, I actually quite like the look of everything else. So there you go. We completely achieved what we set out to. <laughs> what to do a painting together? Yep. That's a bonus. And it looks exactly like we thought it would. Which was to having no expectations of what it would look like. The only thing Glenn said was, I don't want it to be red. Seen as it was a love heart, you know. Yeah. Trying to just blend the, the line in. Look at that. Just, just being gentle, kind, caring caresses. Yes. Look at that tail going. Oh, what'd you do with it? Dropped it on the floor. Where you oh, got it from? Yes, you do. Yeah. No, it wasn't dropped on the floor. It was t tidily in its bucket on the floor. Well, that's where the towel went. Oh, it's a painting towel now. Yes. So that might just flopsy wopsy smoothie wovy out on its own too, might it? Because it's probably not going to. With the extra paint that I'm adding, yes. Yeah. Could just tip some more on. These, actually, these little splotches that were, I don't know if you can see that, or is it still missing the point? Um, these little bits here are quite cool too. Yeah, yeah, tippy toes. Yeah, you can't quite see them, but hey, you might be able to see them when it's dry. Did you want to talk to it anymore? Or do you like it like it is? I actually quite like that. <laughs> don't know why, but... We I can do. hang it above the toilet. With an arrow saying P here. Yeah. Sweet. Just make sure it's a, no, that if like literally hang it above the toilet as a target. Ew, yuck, no. 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 Ping pong balls work apparently as targets. We but, tried that for the children. Didn't oh, we? yeah, that was, like, yeah, targets for the kids, eh? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if it actually helped. Well, I have done pretty well, I think. I've got no paint on my workshops. I've got no paint on my workshops. No, the shirt what? is fine. The shirt can get painted. Awesome. I quite them, like you like. Should we get them down and show them? Sure. All right. Getting you down. Get down. Get down. Do loop. That's pretty cool. It is. And remembering that's gold, not mustard, so it should dry pretty funky. Yeah, I'm not a fan of mustard. No. Uh, Except on ham. Yeah, but on ham, but not the hot stuff. The um, what do they call it? And that whole grain. Whole grain mustard, yeah, that's good. So we've got some nice yummy cells. I like this bit here. I think that bit's funky. I was so aiming to create that. It was just amazing how it worked out exactly as I thought. That's actually the um, K 
candy cane from when you picked the oh, yeah, yeah, thing yeah, up yeah, and stretched it did that sort of spiraling candy cane thing and then when it stretched. Say, stretching is good for you. Apparently. It's funky, donkey. Check that bit out. It's a yep. bit weird. That's what they say about us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, We're no longer the norm anymore, darling. Why is that? Well, it used to be the norm for, you know, relationships to last. Oh, hell yeah. Not anymore. No, we're totally different. We're weird. Yay! Yeah. All right. And noisy, apparently. And noisy. Something completely different. That's the norm. We're not going to talk about that on TV. Neighbor, not people in the room. Yeah, oh, you're true. Um, Gotta be quiet so we don't disturb the tranquility. Tranquil. <laughs> Tranquil. There's a backstory to that. I'm not gonna tell as you. As you can imagine. Private message me if you want to hear the backstory. It's not actually that interesting, but it's fun to make fun of. Yeah. Alright, so anyway. you like it? Yes, I do actually. Right. Well, we better check the edges, which we'll do off camera. And we'll be back once it's dry to show you the end result. Nice. Bye. Bye. All right. So we're back. It's both dry. And we're both dry. <laughs> yep. And today is actually Valentine's Day. So Yay. Valentine's Day. Woohoo. And yes, I bought Michelle something for Valentine's Day. Yay. And I bought him something for Valentine's Day. Both edible. I was talking about the paint sprayer. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> For the renovations. Yes, we yes. went to the home show today. All right, well, it hasn't changed much, really. Um, no. No. It's definitely there. It, it's, bye. <laughs> <laughs> didn't move it. Just left it sitting exactly where it was. Um, Actually, let me get you down because so, I can't see what you can see because you're too high up. Eek. All right. So the gold is now looking gold rather than that ugly mustard, which is handy. I've got an interesting little. sea foamy looking texture down the bottom here but pretty much it's not looking bad at all is it looks pretty cool i think that'd look quite nice hanging on a wall somewhere yeah look at that not Ooh. bad love not bad at all i think we did good hey we made another cute baby <laughs> See what this one looks like in 18 years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Awesome. So guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, hope you've had a really lovely day. And uh, just remember, even if you don't have a significant other, you can always love yourself. So. I'm so not going to say anything rude. <laughs> Not a, not a simple thing. No, no, don't. Anyway, um, how much can you show yourself you adore yourself? Still not saying it. Anything. I don't even think me anything. <laughs> uh, <laughs> see why I'm see? still married to him 23 years later. Not even going to say something about loving thy neighbour. Uh, no. Oh, no. Okay, right. Anyway, <laughs> I adore you. I don't know about him. Um, <laughs> I hope you adore me. Well, yeah, I adore you, but whether you adore them, it's a different story. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, have an amazing day. I hope your Valentine's Day is as fun and ease and joy and glory as ours. And what if all of life can come to you with ease and joy and glory? I adore you. Have fun. 
and I'll play with you again sometime soon. Bye!